What's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? It is Friday, 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 TGIF. Hope everybody's doing well. And like I said, hope everybody's numbers have been doing great. Or at least somewhat of that. Man, made it to another week, guys. Made it to another week. And man, doing this solely Uber platform, I have to be honest, guys. Uh, not that anything is ever going to change, you know, or at least from my knowledge or from, from the way I feel but solely been under Uber this past couple of weeks or take it back these past couple of days okay uh, now this was my solely this was my first full week because remember last week guys I only used it for two times for two days on the platform and then I went out of town and then I started back up on Monday and then off to the races but solely been under just Uber has been working out pretty good, guys. Has been working out pretty good. All right. Now, my numbers are not close to what I normally make because I do run under both platforms, Uber and Lyft. But it hasn't been bad. Okay, I can't I can't knock it. All right now, what I can say is that driving this vehicle has been great on my fuel pocket. This car does great. Great, 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 great. Okay. If I almost get to E, all right, empty, fumes, right, the bottom of the tank, and let's say where I normally go is around 235 a gallon, it's going to probably take me about $35 to fill it up. $35 to fill it up. That's it. Now, if I run it almost to the ball sack empty down to the tank on my Yukon <laughs> and it's 235 or, or say 235 right the cheapest it'll probably be between 60 and 70 dollars to fill it up 60 and 70 dollars so it'll be basically double the amount and my fuel mileage won't be as great as it is in this one so that I do like okay that I do like so my fuel cost for this past week has probably been cut if not half more okay so that's been a blessing in disguise okay because my fuel cost per week in my Yukon is roughly around I would say 200, 220, around that, okay? My fuel cost on this car has been probably 100 bucks, okay? But I don't always run it down to the E. So I, always, so I normally don't put 30, 35 dollars. Let's just say I get down to half a tank. 15 bucks, right? 15, 20 dollars. So that's what I'm saying. My fuel cost has been cut in half, if not more. So that has been a blessing in disguise. But today, guys, today I went out. We started around 5 o'clock this morning. It is almost noon. I'm going to go ahead and take it in, reset my clock, and then I'm going to go out tonight. My first Friday night in this vehicle, guys. My first Friday night in this vehicle. We'll see what kind of action I get. Now, yesterday, as well as Wednesday, I've having I've been having a lot of great trips, going back and forth to either hotels or down to the convention center because we have two big conventions going on right now. One is going to be like a home improvement, uh, home improvement convention and then another one is going to be the afro tech convention and that one i've been going to the most right a lot of people have been coming in all right i pick them up at the airport and i ask them hey where are you from and you know kind of get a little you know background story on, on what who they are and, and where they're coming from and why they're here and it's like oh we're here for a convention and i'm like hey are you here for the afro tech they're like oh yeah you know uh, so it's a apparently it's a big thing okay i really don't know what's it about 
but it's a big Afrotech uh, convention here in Houston, as well as the Home Improvement uh, convention going on. So that's been going on, and then of course my normal runs. Now today, guys, today, um, like I said, it is noon. I just finished probably about 30 minutes ago. I dropped off George. He's renting a car because apparently his wife put the wrong gas in the car. They put they put that that uh, no ethanol grade level, which can jack up your truck, can can jack up your your, your engine. Okay. They have to flush out their engine. They have to change out the spark plugs, change out the injectors, change out all kinds of stuff, just because they put the wrong gas in their, in their car. They said they have a Toyota 4Runner. So with that being said, guys, yeah. So I went out today. Went out today. Just finished. Started around five o'clock. Uh, let's see. I finished with 136, 136, 86, 11 trips. Okay, 11 trips. In fact, let's go ahead and look at it. Let's go ahead and look at it, guys. Okay. All right. One. Can you see us? So 136, 86, 11 trips. Uh, just six and a half hours on the app. Continuously, I never stopped. Uh, so I'm going to go home. Now, I can just run straight. Okay. I can run straight and max out my hours, you know, the 12 hours that we're allowed to, and probably make 300. Man, but what gets me is going to be this damn traffic, guys. This traffic, I just, that is the one reason why I do not, I do not do this in the morning. Okay, I do not do this in the morning because you spend more time in traffic, guys. More time in traffic. Okay. More time in traffic. So, yeah, that's why I don't do it, man. I, don't, I, 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 I'm not gonna be one of those people that are just gonna play the weave game and do this and do that and, and whatever you want to call it. I just that's just not me, guys. Uh, but I didn't go out last night. You know, uh, my mother-in-law went out of town. Um, my sister-in-law. <laughs> Man, if you ever want your car jacked up, messed up, totaled, or whatever you want to call it, call my sister-in-law. She has been. She has. She has managed to literally jack up every single car that was ever given to her. Okay. Now this car right here. Yesterday, I got an email saying that please take it. It's due for an oil change. So I took it in. They said, "Hey, uh, we're gonna have to need your car for about four hours. Can you go ahead and drop it off?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure, no problem." Call my mother-in-law. Hey, I said, can you come pick me up? You know, my car's not gonna be ready till like around maybe after three. So I went up around 11 o'clock. I said, it's not gonna be ready till like after three. Can you come pick me up? And she's like, yeah, no problem. Well, she sends my sister-in-law. She pulls in to the Firestone, right? Because I guess Hertz has a contract or, or account with Firestone. She pulls into the parking lot. The driver's side is all jacked up. I'm like, oh my God. My mother-in-law, she has a real nice Honda Accord. Okay, it's gold. We call it Goldie Hawn. <laughs> Every car that my mother-in-law has, she's always given it a, a nickname. Okay, from White, Lang White Lightning to uh, uh, Black Beauty, which was her Mercedes. That, that was completely total totaled in one of the hurricanes. You know, um, can't think of the other ones. But yeah, so Goldie Hawn has a big jacked up dents all over the driver's side. Okay. So if you ever want your car jacked up, totaled, or whatever you want to call it, I'll give you my sister-in-law's number. Man, every car she has managed, managed to drive or own, has come back in pieces. All right? It's like dead man walking. So anyways, guys, anyways. Long story short, guys. Yeah. The other day, I think I told you guys, what, 230? or 216 that I made on what was it Wednesday night I think it was but I forgot to take take an account of the $20 tip that I got so basically it was what two 236 uh, for the amount of time that I was on the apps so overall guys overall me solely running under uber hasn't been that bad okay I haven't had a bad experience yet okay I don't want to jinx it okay because tonight I can go out and just screw the pooch right but what's been helping me out tremendously guys is the cost of gas that I've been putting in this car. 
Now, does that mean, oh, I'm just going to run out and get me a compact, you know, comfort car, whatever you want to call it, okay? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that so far, my fuel cost has been great, has been helpful, okay? I'm still going to be looking, okay, to get another car. Uh, I'm still looking on the apps. You know, I'm, I'm looking at a Santa Fe. Uh, I even looked at the, the, the Quest, you know. Um, Hector has a Quest out there in, in Chicago, and he's making pretty good money, all right? The only thing that is misleading is that if you go to the Uber website, right, there's a chart for each city that if you buy a certain type of car or vehicle or SUV or whatever you want to call it, it'll tell you what you qualify for, okay? I don't know if that list is accurate because my Yukon is listed under just Uber X, Uber WAV, which is basically a wheelchair accessible vehicle, W A V. That's what that's what that stands for. It's wheelchair accessible vehicle. Okay. It is it doesn't say anything about comfort. Okay. But once I put the information in there, it kicks back as comfort. So like I said, I don't know if that list is 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 misleading or not accurate or not up to date. Because I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know for a fact here, if you were to buy a, let's just say a 2015 and newer Malibu, Chevy Malibu, right? It qualifies as a comfort. It qualifies as a comfort. But if you go on the app, or at least here in Houston, it says it's only Uber X. That's it, Uber X. So I'm going by that guideline, that chart, to make my decisions on what kind of vehicle I want to get. All right? Do I want to get a Dodge Durango? Because I definitely want to get something that's going to get 20 plus miles per the gallon. Okay? Because, yeah, I, I want to start saving money on gas. Yes, we have one of the cheapest fuel prices in the, in the States. Okay, right now the average is like 2 240 I think it is. Even though there's places around here that I can get it at 230. Okay, like this morning I got a 235. But like I said, that is my main objective is to to find a vehicle that I can start saving money, right? Start saving money. But overall, guys, overall, you know, I mean me driving this vehicle, you know, I like it because it's nice and clean, you know, uh, I've been making some money, but I'm just not used to the, the, you know, the whole, you know, right here and, and you know, <laughs> that's, that's just me, guys, that's just me, you know, it might be tedious to say, but, but I, you know, I like my comfort, okay, I like my space, you know, uh, sometimes people will come into the vehicle and, and you know, there's, the, like, the other day, the other day I picked up it was a party of four guys okay four guys they wanted comfort one guy I could have said something but I didn't I just let it pass right but was talking shit about not necessarily me and the vehicle but he was talking about the space right and I can't you know I should have said hey you know what well then you should have ordered an extra extra large okay an extra an XL basically because comfort doesn't mean it's gonna be big and wide open, whatever. No, that's XL. Comfort is basically just for neck, leg. That's it. It's not for, you know, oh, okay, let me go ahead and stretch out my legs and, you know, and whatever you want to call it. And back. No, no. Comfort is just leg room from the kneecap to the back end of the seat. Okay? That's it. Comfort. That's, that's, that's what it is. Comfort. The comfortability. Okay? But I had three guys right here. There's a big... Right here in the center console, in the back, there's a big thing knot that sticks out. So I can understand why he, he felt like a sardine back there. But these were three big dudes back there, okay? Now, like I said, this is a Chevy Equinox, guys. This ain't no, no, no Ford Explorer or, you know, Chevy Tahoe or anything like that. This, you know, this, this is, you know, it's, it's a small vehicle, you know, to a certain point. But... It fits under the category as Uber Comfort. What he was looking for 
the guy in the middle was Uber XL. But I let it slide, you know, I let it slide. But there's times where someone ordered even the comfort and I look at them like, oh, okay. You know, and, I, and I'll make sure, and I have the seat somewhat, the passenger seat I have somewhat pushed to the front. So when I have like, like this morning I had three girls, right? Three girls, they were going to a wedding. They had all their luggage in the back, you know, um, the mom was up front and the two daughters were in the back, okay? Great conversation, talking to the mom, you know. Um, <laughs> in fact, I think I even heard one of the daughters like, I think mom's sitting on the driver. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, I told the, I told the lady I go hey I said go ahead and scoot this chair back I said because I normally have it all to the front so the person in the back can have more room than was expected. So with that being said, guys, yeah, uh, that chart that I look at here in Houston, I don't know if it hasn't been updated or it's just it's, it's not accurate or whatever because I know for a fact certain vehicles are in certain categories. But then, when you look at the chart, it, it doesn't, okay? It, it, it doesn't have it. So like I said, I don't know if, if, if it's gonna be misleading or whatever. I mean, it's helpful, don't get me wrong. I mean, some of it's helpful. But when, once you start getting to the comfort of the XLs and, and you know, the double XL and stuff like that, how accurate is it? Or, or what vehicles actually fit in this category that's not listed, kind of like that Malibu, okay? Um, and then it tells you, okay, if it's this type of Santa Fe or if it's this type of, of Explorer, then you jump into the Comfort and the XL. But if you don't fit in this category, but it's still a, a, an Explorer, okay, but what type of Explorer are you talking about? Okay. I mean, I'm not oblivious to certain types, you know, but at least give me somewhat, you know, throw me a bone something, right? At, le at least tell me something. And some of that stuff is misleading. And I need to get into this lane before I run out of run out of room. Oh, there we go. Here's a spot right here. Okay. But kind of like the Chevy Malibu. Okay. On the chart, it says it's just an Uber X. But I know for a fact because my brother drives a 17 Chevy Malibu. Okay. Right. And he has the comfort. On the list, it says if the Chevy Malibu is an 18 and newer, it has comfort. But my brother's a 17. Okay. Because it's not like you can sit there and fudge the numbers or anything like that. Because you have to put in your insurance. You have to put in your, 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 your er everything in there, right? Unless there's a sneaky way you can, like, say, hey, it's a 15. But then you actually put a 16 on there. Oh, yeah. So then you have a comfort. Okay, whatever. I don't know. Okay. I don't know if they match the VIN numbers. And they put all that stuff in the, co in the computer. And they say, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you know, it, it is whatever, whatever. I really don't know how they do it. But yeah, man, so far so good, man, on, on uh, running the solely Uber, okay? Uh, but I miss my lift. I miss my lift because it, it's, 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 uh, but I'm, I'm taking it as in what it's worth, as in like, uh, let me see, like right now, just on Uber for this week, Monday, because I don't work, I don't work Sunday, remember I told you, I came in late from the wedding. So Monday through today, so far, I'm at 876. 876, that's it. Now, there's a couple of days. See, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I only worked half a day, guys. I only worked half a day. So if I would have worked, like, long hours, those those three days as today, then you're, you're looking at probably well over a thousand bucks. Okay. What is that? 35 hours so far on the app? 35 hours? I mean, that's 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 right there. That's that's the uh, the gist of it. All right, okay. Because a lot of people show you this number. They don't show you that number. Okay. They want to make believe that they're making all this gravy, 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 but now they're not show you the ingredients. <laughs> right? The meat and the potatoes, as they say it. Okay. Show me the meat and potatoes. Don't tell me how it tastes. Okay, what's in it? Okay, well, what's in it is going to be so far almost 36 hours. Okay, 55 trips. Okay, almost totaling $900. But then I also worked a little bit on Wednesday, Thursday, and today. Now, today, okay, 
today, I'm gonna, I already turned off my clock, I'm gonna let it reset, and I'm gonna head out like around seven o'clock, okay? Yesterday, what I do yesterday? 150, 150 for almost five hours, eight trips. I could have stayed out longer, but like I said, I had that text to where I had to go and do the oil change. I'm not bullshitting you, okay? I'm not bullshitting you. Here's uh, the email that I got yesterday. Uh, where's it at? Hertz, Hertz. Where's it at? Hertz, Hertz. Right here. Vehicle maintenance su support service. This is the ticket they gave me. Hold on. Let me open it up. They, they send you a ticket, guys. They send you a ticket to take it to a place where they have an account. And you just show this to the front and they go ahead and take care of it. Right? And they were saying that the oil change needed to be done. Okay. But overall, guys, you know, uh, my numbers so far, and then Wednesday, 122. Seven trips for almost six hours. That was like a self soul day. Okay. That was Wednesday. But this is the day where I had to go in and renew my contract. Okay. I could have done this on online. Oh, that's another thing, guys. That's another thing. Let me tell you guys something real quick that I found out. Because right now there's still a hundred. Right now there's still three hundred and forty-nine dollar pending charge on my credit card. Okay, but I already paid. But the thing is that I completely forgot that they told me last time I rented a car was that it automatic automatically is taken out of your bank every week when you renew it you don't have to do nothing you don't have to do nothing as long as you fit the categories the category is 30 rides for that week and then stay above a 4.85 if you meet those two criterias then you're eligible to renew it okay you don't have to do nothing the only thing you have to do is if you have to do something as in like cancel or edit your reservation like say you want to go to a bigger car okay which i'm still waiting to go to a bigger car but i'm going week to week because i don't know when my truck is going to be ready but do i want to spend an extra 40 dollars you know uh when i'm probably can make money you know doing this or in this vehicle because i don't know how the gas mileage is going to be in an explorer or a dodge journey or a, uh, I don't remember what's the other one uh, that they have that they consider a XL. So I might just go ahead and just keep this one if it calls for it. Okay, as in like my truck is not ready. My truck is not ready. All right. But understand, guys. All right. Because right now, even though my payment was from Wednesday, I still have that $349 charge or pending charge on my credit card. Okay, so I went in yesterday, okay, because I dropped out the receipt of the oil change, uh, and I told him, hey, I said, uh, I know it's not you guys, it's it's Hertz, right? It's the main corporate office, billing, whatever you want to call it. But can you explain this to me? And the lady told me, like, oh, she goes, yeah, she goes, you weren't supposed to make a payment if you were just going to renew it because all magic does it. So, like I said, as long as you stay above a 30 plus ride for that week. Because that's what they're that's what they're asking for. Because you can't rent a car and not use it for Uber and just drive around town and go on vacation, whatever. You know, it's, it's meant for to do Uber, right? So that's what they're telling you. As long as you have at least thirty under your belt for that week, you're fine. And then, as well as as long as you have a four point eight five rating, all right, then you're cool. And then, as long as you have whatever charge it is in in your in your funds, right? Minus 349, as long as my credit card that they have on file has at least 349, then it all makes takes it out, okay? And it's gonna show pending. So right now, I paid for it, the 349, manually, and then it's pending, another charge. But until they meet in the system together, it's like, oh, here's a, here's a pending, and here's a charge that they already did and paid until they meet it's gonna fall off, all right? Because the lady told me, 
She's like, nah, you aren't supposed to do it. Because she was a cool lady. She's a cool lady at this place. You know, now the other Hertz, Sugarland, yeah, no. Bad attitudes, bad attitudes. But the one that I'm close to, right close to my house, yeah, aces, man, they're, they're cool. They're nice. She's like, no, no. She goes, next week, if you're still going to be renting it, you know, she goes, now, if, if you're not going to rent it, if you're going to cancel, do it a day before. You'll get a text saying, automatically, it's going to be taken out. If not, hit one for cancel, hit two for uh, edit your contract. Like, say I want to go to a bigger car or go to a smaller one, right? And then I have to drop a new contract, go in and do everything, right? But if you're not going to do anything, 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 don't do anything. Okay, because all make takes it out. So just make sure you have those funds, just make sure you have those rides, and make sure you have that rating already in place. And I completely forgot about it. Because my wife texted me yesterday morning, she's like, hey, she goes, uh, there's a 349 pending charge. I'm like, oh, I wasn't supposed to pay it, you know, because it was, it was all maybe taken out, right? So even though it was due Wednesday, right now it's still pending. Okay, right now, so do they give you like a two day grace period? to make sure you have funds or, or whatever you want to call it or I don't know I don't know or maybe the the system hasn't matched up my payment and that pending charge together so it can cancel it out I don't know but I know for next week not to do anything because it automatically takes out that's if I'm going to go ahead and renew my contract if I'm going to renew my contract I don't do anything just sit back and just drive okay let them handle it on their end okay I just got to make sure I take care of my part as in like having the rides. and But like I said, the rides are already there because earnings from Wednesday. Wednesday, I have eight. Thursday, I have 11. So that's 19. Hold on. Oh, that's my wife because she's going to the Nutcracker. Uh, so seven, I have Wednesday, I have seven. Thursday, I have eight. Okay, so that's fifteen. And then today, I have eleven so far. So that's fifteen. So that's twenty-six. So all I need is basically just four more rides, and I'm and I'm good. Okay, I'm 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 ready to surpass my expectations that that Uber requires me to have, which is thirty rides for that week, from your from your agreement to your end of agreement. Okay. But anyways, guys, so far, so far, so far, it's been all right. Good experience, right? Good experience. Uh, car does excellent on gas. Okay. Does excellent on gas. Um, it's giving me an opportunity to make money, obviously. All right. Uh, but I don't see myself keeping this car after my vehicle is, is done. Or at least getting a car that, that's like this, similar to this. So, but yeah, if you're ever planning to rent a vehicle through Hertz, okay, right? It is first come, first serve, right? They're not going to give you what, whatever is picture is on there, doesn't automatically mean that you're going to get that vehicle. It's like the compact sedan has a picture of the Malibu, doesn't mean you're going to get a Malibu, okay? You can get a Honda Accord, you can get an Altima, or you can get the Malibu, okay? Like the Comfort has a uh, oh that is the other XL the, the, the Traverse the Chevy Traverse okay so it's a Ford Explorer Dodge Journey and a Chevy Traverse okay those are the three options that they have okay now I know she Chevy Traverse does good on on gas I'm not too sure on the Ford Explorer and I'm not sure on the Dodge Journey but understand just because you see a picture on there doesn't mean necessarily that you're gonna get that vehicle. It's whatever they have, okay? Like like I said, in the Comfort, this picture is the Comfort, I wanna say, oh shit, I can tell you right now. I can tell you right now. Account, go to account, go to vehicles, go to vehicle rentals, Compact, they have a Nissan Altima on the picture, doesn't mean you're gonna get it. Comfort, they have a yeah, Equinox, the Chevy Equinox. Okay. 
but it tells you which vehicles that may be available to you okay so it's gonna be doesn't tell you what cars they may be okay uh, but anyways it's first come first serve right and when you do make a payment to extend your your agreement do not manually do it just let let the system take care run its course right because apparently they already have your credit card on the file me my dumbass i did it completely forgot <laughs> and now the computer's like hey hold on what's going on here you know we have a pending and you have already a, you know a payment date so until those two meet to cancel it out i still have a pending but the lady did tell me at hers yesterday and said give about two days and it should be out okay so anyways guys it is friday afternoon thank god it's friday we made it guys we made it and now it's time to go ahead and tackle the wild crowd or well, at least here in houston h-town all right god bless be careful okay and one thing man i want to ask hector man i want to ask hector how come we haven't done a live panel in a long time what are you scared brother what are you scared for you afraid we might take all your viewers <laughs> now nah, i'm just playing uh no man i miss talking to uh, hector live and uh and alex and uh sharing our, our nights together man uh it was fun it was fun while we did it okay he hasn't done one in a while okay I don't know if he, if he got questioned by Uber or 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 YouTube or what, but uh, yeah, man, you know it was fun while it lasted. If he's not planning to do one anymore, uh, but it was fun while it lasted. So I uh, hope we'll be able to do it again, uh, especially since I'm in a different vehicle. Okay, uh, but I saw you dressed up, man. GQ the other day. I saw you dressed up, man. You look pretty good. All right, look like you're ready to sell car insurance, knock on people's door, and and. Uh, Ask them if they believe in uh, Jehovah's Witnesses and stuff like that. So, uh, <laughs> but other than that, guys, it is Friday, November, November. What is it? November fifteenth. Man, it's almost for. Uh, it's almost Turkey time. It's almost Turkey time. <laughs> but anyways, guys, it's time to go ahead and wrap this up. I'll see you guys later tonight. I'll take you guys along with me on my uh, live, uh, not live, but I'll go ahead and record my, my trips like I did last time. So look out for that video. I did one the other day, the second day, but man, there's times where I wake up and I'm just like, bleh, you know, I don't like doing anything, you know, so I went ahead and just stopped it, okay? And uh, it, it was just, I got I got tired, honestly, guys. I was just tired. I was, I was in a funky mood, you know, probably because my truck wasn't ready yet, okay? But like I said, if it wasn't for me getting great, great gas mileage, you know, saving a couple of bucks here and there using this vehicle, you know, I, I would have been in a funkier mood. But oh well, guys, you know, win some, lose some. I'm still waiting for my vehicle to be ready. Okay, like I said, it may be my fuel pump, not fuel pump, oil pump. Okay, uh, going out, they're going to go ahead and dive into it. Uh, my brother-in-law, that is, they're going to go ahead and dive into it and see if that's the issue because... Uh, you know, it's just not acting right, and I don't want to drive it and uh, have people in the back shaking up and down, you know, because it does vibrate, especially at a, at a stand, standstill when I'm at a red light or a stop sign, okay? But anyways, guys, 33 minutes into the, into. oh, and how do you guys like my new opening, okay? My new opening, all right? I know it's a little bit long, but I just want to give you a little taste of uh, what kind of, uh, what kind of situations are out here. You know, we got the, we got the cars with the elbows, okay? Uh, they're called elbows, right? There's like six, eight, ten, and twelve. I see some that, woo, man, they're like way out here. Okay, um, they're called elbows. And then um, got uh, that one bar. Um, you know, it's one of our, it's one of our bars that have uh, hookah. So we got a lot of hookah lounges around here, man. We have a lot of hookah lounges around Texas or South like Houston. That is one thing that we have, man. We have a lot, a lot of hookah lounges. You know. And then, of course, we have our uh, we have our tr our trucks, man, our toys. Okay, uh, some people spend a lot, a lot of money, man, for the, for their trucks to look like that, man. You know, uh, my cousin has one of them. He has a nice looking truck. He has a 19 GMC. Man, that sucker is jacked up. Lights everywhere. Lights in the rims. Okay, he has a nice sound. I mean, he he. I think he takes care of his truck better than he takes care of his wife. <laughs> but anyways guys it is friday 
almost Friday night. Going to go ahead and dive into these uh, these these apps later on, or should I say, dive into this app? First time running solely Uber. Okay, on a Friday night, we'll see what kind of numbers we get. I will take you guys along. Hope you guys stay tuned. Talk to you guys later.